Hello and welcome to Tasting with Mike and Matt. I'm Mike Veach and this is my partner in crime, Matt Kohorst. Howdy. And today we are going to t be tasting the uh, uh, Michter's Fort Nelson Barrel Proof Bourbon. We went out, Rosemary and I went out to a, a event that Michter's held the other day out at the Fort Nelson Distillery. And we each got a bottle of this bourbon. We got the bottle of ourselves, so it's a single barrel. Mm -hmm. And Dan McKee confided and saying, you know, we found a really good barrel of bourbon <laughs> that we decided we wanted to do. This was our Fort Nelson. <laughs> and we were, the, we were lucky enough to be the first one. So, uh, you know, you need to get out there on Monday or Tuesday whenever they're open and oh, get man, you a I bottle. Yeah. Um, yep. But uh, this is a... Uh, uh, Barrel strength um, bourbon from uh, Michter. It's like I said, it's their Fort Nelson Reserve. You can only get this by going into the distillery, taking a tour, and bottling your own bottle there. You know, and it's going to cost you, was it $125, $150, whatever. So they charge. And the bottle for I $150? Think, uh, that I'm not sure of. Okay. But I mean, it's not cheap. Right. But it's worth it. It's worth it. And uh, this is a 112 proof. Uh, there is no age statement. And, but, you know, when I was talking with Dan McKee, he was not denying that this could have been some stuff that they made at their Shively distillery. Ooh, okay. All right. Uh, you know, it could have been contractor still, but, you know, this could be stuff that uh, basically Pam Heilman made five, four or five years ago at the distillery. This one it kind of first op opened, right? Or was yeah, well, they, they've been distilling there for about six years. Okay. Five or six okay. years. I'm not sure exactly. But uh, this could be a barrel of stuff that they distilled. And if it is stuff that they distilled, I am impressed on how little flavor drift there was between this and their contract distilled. Mm, yeah. I mean, it's excellent whiskey. So, let's pour us a little. You know, I've never had a Mictor's product that I didn't like. They're just no, so they're good. So, you yeah. know... They're what, like the most consistent of the... Yeah, I mean, look at that color. I mean, that is a rich amber. That's very rich, yeah. Yeah, high proof. I remember Pam Heilman when she first started there. You know, they first started up the distillery, and she's talking to Joe, and she was saying, "Oh, we did really well. We got you know this percentage of uh, uh, of conversion, and you know we got this much whiskey out of it." And then Joe says, "I don't care about all that. What does it taste like? Quality is more important than quantity, and and how much money they can make to them." So that really shows. That really products. shows. Yeah, I mean, this Victor's has always been consistently like, like one of your favorites. Like, right? It, well, yeah. You know, uh, <laughs> I've got a lot of favorites out there, mm -hmm. and Victor's is something. You know, if I go to a bar and I'm looking for something to drink, and they got Victor's on there, I'm not afraid. You know, Victor's no granddad tend to tend to be my go-to. Victor's old granddad. Yeah, Michter's Old Granddad and probably Old Forester 100 Proof would be my three that when I go to a bar, those are what I kind of look for. That's awesome, yeah. Yeah. I'm, that's that's among some really big names, you know. <laughs> so, let's nose it. I mean, it's... Oh, God, that nose is so rich. Nose, yeah. Lots of caramel. Not vanilla, but caramel. I mean, that mature caramel. Mm -hmm. A little bit of fruit. Nice baking spice. A little baking spice, a little oak. That fruit, I, you know, I, I'm having a hard time determining whether I think it's apple or pear. Right now I'm kind of leaning towards ripe pear. Right there. But yeah. So let's taste it. Maybe that'll help clarify things. Just rich, full of flavor. Right. Nothing's like 
rich caramel. Yeah, I think it's like, definitely apple. Yeah. It's definitely like a real ripe apple. Mm-hmm. A little bit of baking spices. You know, yeah. I'm even getting like a little bit of... Um, we like a, a little bit of butterscotch in there. A little there. butterscotch? Mm. I can see that possibly. Oh, there's original in there. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm getting a little bit of baking spices. Maybe maybe nutmeg. Maybe ginger. And then you get some oak. Get some oak in the finish. Then the finish, you know. You, it, it's that oak and spice, but you get that lingering fruity sweetness. Mm-hmm. You know, it's kind of dry from the oak and the spice. Yeah. But that little lingering spice fruit kind of balances it's it out separate. and makes it very pleasant mm-hmm. yeah, you know what this would go well with some of your beer can chicken smoked on them oh man yeah i bet you this would just yeah. go really it's time of year well now. yeah yeah it's that time of year you now. know i think yeah. this little bit of fruity caramel sweetness would just balance out that smoky mm-hmm. spicy chicken that you do Oh man, just think about it. Yeah, yeah. We do that next Sunday. <laughs> we're, we're gonna do a video of uh, uh, of your barbecue you and, and a bourbon. We'll do it in your backyard. We all we'll we'll pull a pull a beer can chicken a, and pull this bottle of mixers out, and we'll see how well that really does oh, go man. together. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, this month it's gonna. Happen. Yeah, this month this, this coming month. Yeah. So anyway, now let, let, let's try it with a cranberry and see what happens. <clears throat> That's interesting. Kind of takes the fruit out of it. Takes fruit out of it. Kicks that spice up. Kicks the spice up a lot. I'm getting like, it's like red pepper flakes. Uh, See, I was going to say, a little black pepper joins as baking spices. He's still getting that ginger. Mm -hmm. Not so much nutmeg this time, but you get the ginger and black pepper. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, Mm -hmm. like it. it, it, More vanilla. More vanilla. Caramel. a French vanilla. A French vanilla, yeah. Think of a creamy, creamy French vanilla creamy. ice cream. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's really good with the, the crayon. Yeah, that's yeah. really good. Well, let's like cleanse our palate and try it with the crayon, yeah. uh, with the pecan. tasty yeah it's really good that kind of brings the spot uh the fruit back it's fruit back brings the caramel as a matter of fact the fruit to me i'm beginning to get just a little bit of like raspberry blackberry berry fruit Mm -hmm. those spices are still there that ginger cinnamon not so much black pepper now right yeah which is surprising because usually to me the uh pecan the tannins and the pecans really brings out if it's gonna be pepper uh, it's gonna bring that out yeah but it kind of tames that black pepper and brings in that the baking spices. Yeah, the baking said. spices. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. But the finish, the oak is much stronger in the finish. Yeah, it's just sitting back there, just hanging out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it's right there. <laughs> That's really good. So let's look. Let, let's see what. Uh, let, oh, let's cleanse our palate first. Mm-hmm. Let's see what. A piece of Hershey's dark chocolate kiss does. That's interesting. To talk about vanilla. Mm-hmm. That chocolate Dark roasted really, vanilla. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, like it turns into I like mean, like a toffee. real rich vanilla. Yeah. And maybe maybe a a, a lot of vanilla like a, a maybe a cappuccino. Yeah. You know, oh, man, yeah, it's uh, very coffee like. Yeah, you, that yeah. Ch- chocolate really brings out a a coffee note. 
It makes the mouth feel real thick. Yeah. And chewy. Um, mm, so much flavor in there. Right. Yeah. This is really good. Yeah. So. I'd say, uh, yeah, if you got some... Uh, you know, chocolate and some mixers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, this this mixers goes good with everything. It really does. Yeah. Yeah. So, hey. here's the mixers. Dan McKee, Andrea Wilson, Joe Magliocco. Cheers. Hundred percent.